Okay, here we are at the forming process. What we have, this is, uh, I guess you could say, punch for uh, from a Lee 45 caliber resizing die, or sizer die for a bolt sizer. This is a little nose punch. I, I made it to try to form a nose. It didn't work for that, but it works good for, for uh, pushing... Uh, the form bullet back out of the die. This is the bolt I use to you thread this down and it'll push the, it'll push on that right there inside the die. And here's the die I'm using. It's a 243 die and all that goes right inside there. Let me get that put in there. And that just screws up in the top like normal. This is gonna be hard to do put in there one-handed okay anyway that's just like that just like you're using it with the bullet sizer now I took Ammo's advice what he used for for case converting instead of threading this all the way down and, and just just ramming her home I start off at the top and punch back up turn a little bit punch and the reason being I figured out why is because there's more leverage down here than there is up here. So you, if you get it set up where all you have to do is push that much, adjust it, push that much, adjust, you get all your leverage down here and it takes a whole lot less effort. So let's give this a shot. First I'll have to, what I, I, I did do is I took them, they're the same ones I just dumped the lead in, they cooled off. I put them in my, uh, in the collet for the Lee trimmer and just run some steel wool on them in a, in a cordless drill so I can polish them up a little bit before I run them through the sizer. So uh, let me get these lubed up then we'll give her a go. Okay, I, I'm, I just used a normal lube pad with, with uh, the RCBS case lube too, it seems to be working for me. I mean, maybe some of the imperial sizing wax or something like that might work a little better, but I haven't had any problems yet. Alright, you set this on here just like you would, uh, like you were going to size it, and then just run it up in there. I just let it sit for a second to equalize. Back down, twist it about a quarter turn, a little more. About a quarter turn, a more, about a quarter turn. Well, I'm going to do something right here because I forgot this little piece that I made. It has to go up in here first before it gets too far up in there. Let's see if I can get it down in there before I start. There we go. It's basically that piece fits snugly in uh, the part of the full length sizer that, that sizes the neck. It just, so it just slips up and down in there. And this little, I just, just, just start that in there. And I just keep going. And it'll start getting a little bit snugger when you get down there and you, and you start to form the nose and, and push that excess lead up through the the neck portion of the die. And yeah, I could probably do this in one big swoop, but why exert any more energy than I have to and wear and tear on the tools? Now I'm starting to get tension, so I'm going to let that sit a minute, or not a minute, but a little bit. And then here I don't, I don't twist it quite as far. Let it sit, equalize a little bit more. It's hard to do this one-handed. And then I got this collar set, so it gives... The, the, I went too far. Back it up a little bit. Let that 
Let's sit a minute. It gives me the 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 length, I guess you could say, and the correct, I guess the weight I'm getting is in the ballpark of what I wanted. It's hard to do this. It's awkward holding the camera in your hand. <laughs> All right, so that should be formed. Now all I do is turn this. See, so right now it's up against that. Yep, you gotta get the farmer wrench out. Sometimes the bolt falls right out, sometimes it doesn't. I got this here, I just made this to sit like that, and I can just tap it with my mallet and out comes looks like this and that's about as good as it gets out of there and then once I take this and I'll show you here in a minute and I chuck it up in the drill press outside and then I could uh, I may have a homemade chisel like forming tool I can use it to, to trim down that nose how I want it All right, see you outside. All right, here we are, got the bullet chucked up in the drill press. Just snug this, you don't need to crank on it because if you just snug it, the rim's strong enough to keep from crushing, but if you if you tighten it real good, it'll crush the rim and then you, you're just running everything you're trying to do. All righty, let's, uh, Give this a shot. Hopefully that camera don't vibrate and fall off my shelf. This is here. To, <laughs> this is a little cutter that I took off my. It's a tool for for cleaning out the grooves on a piston where the rings go. Well, I haven't used that for about 15, 20 years, so I figured I'll I'll, I'll put that cutter to use. So that's what I kind of fabricated here to, to trim off this lid. I just, just take a little bit off at a time. I don't want to go all the way up to that brass. Yes, there's probably a better way of doing this. It's faster, like a like a giant size uh, pencil sharpener. I think would work pretty good. But hell, this gives you a little hands-on, your own little signature, I guess. going to take to do a hundred of them suckers but hey guess if you got the time it's cheaper than buying there you go okay one final step here after we've done everything else we formed the nose put the point now all I have to do is run it through the sizing die or the bullet sizer Oops. And there you have it. Let's see how she uh, sized out. 452. So, next step is get some empty cases, start reloading, take them to the range, and see what they do.